Sha sure, boys. Well, time to do plugs and wires on this old pig, so here we go. We let her warm up a little bit. Everybody wants to tell me what a misfire it's got. So, hear that, boys? We also got another little bit of an issue I'm noticing here, and that is this transmission's dripping. At a pretty good rate. So I'm actually gonna back this up a little bit. See if we can see exactly where this drip's coming from. Maybe it's something we could solve. We got a line right here that's dripping. Honestly, boys, that's probably best case scenario for us. Wouldn't you think? Cause it looks like our leak's right there. We're gonna take care of that too. And it's coming down. This, this is factory grass under here from when we we're sending it. This is running down that factory grass and onto the floor. You heard the misfire. If you haven't seen the videos, what we've got here, uh, Suzuki Samurai axles, four wheel drive, got some sweet, I think these are 33 by 12 super swampers, 12 and a half. You got your Chevrolet 350, 5.7 liter in the bat bag here. And I know a lot of people have complained about where the, the radiator is. First, let me just start by saying I didn't put it there. And then finish by saying, hey, hot shot. Let me finish by saying this. Hey there, Hot Rod. Hey, Hot Rod. Where would you put it? Should I put it back here where we get no wind and go underwater? Or should I put it in front? Maybe I put it right here. And then I just drive it, you know, like Ace Ventura with my head out the thing. What, what do you think? We put it right here? Put it behind the winch? Maybe we put it down there under the front. I mean, where... There isn't a whole lot of options, boys. Except for on the top, you'd think that would be better. But I honestly, it lets wind hit it. It's got, you got your sweet thermostat right here. I think you're gonna know if you're paying attention before she, you know, blows, but come on guys. You could be kidding me. Lay off of me about the radiator. I said, I didn't put it there. But instead of telling me that's a bad spot for the radiator, which like, 50 people have commented that my question is this where's the good spot for the radiator please tell me in the comments so this pops up no problemo all right now we're looking at something that looks like it's easy to work on so we got us some dirty old dirty old spark plugs as you can see and they look pretty gnarled up and like they're never going to come out plus good luck getting a socket on them this bad boy's warm right now. I'm gonna let it cool off. Wash this up on both sides. Blow it with the air compressor. And then uh, then we'll get to the plug changing and stuff. As far as the plugs and wires, I didn't do nothing fancy. I figured if we can get it firing on, on all eight cylinders is better than what's on it. So about 30 bucks for the ignition wires there at the auto zone. And you know, these plugs were like, three dollars each so about a fifty dollar tune-up for this thing see if it works guys be sure and like and subscribe when we're done we're gonna have to test it so we've already hit the pond on it plenty of times but people are telling me it's running on four cylinders this and that so we're gonna hit it on eight today unless it just unless it just ain't got eight good pistons in it so guys obviously before i wash this i don't want to soak this entire engine i don't want to wash the piston so these products, I'm selling them only 50 bucks. Check out what they do. And they'll save your engine. They really will. Seriously, guys, only $59.95, free shipping, right to you in the U.S. <laughs> that boy fit tighter than a Trojan. Like I said, only $69.95 will get you one of them out. We got a special on them this week. It's only 72 bucks. So get up in there, guys. Free shipping. Save your carb. Save your piston.
Now that I gave her a good rinse, and I'm gonna get the air compressor in here, blow a lot of this stuff out, and then I'm gonna soak these plugs with some PB blaster and hope these bad boys wanna come out. I'm gonna need some PB blaster. Let's get some compressed air going first. Well, water's sitting on top of these valve covers, so I'm gonna get up in here, get all this out, and uh, off everything, clean around these plugs real good. So I don't allow a bunch of shit to fall in there when I pull them, guys. Now this is the good looking side. I don't know if you can see these plugs. They rusty, boy. And you know. So you want to take you some big shot blaster. Get it up in there around them plugs. You know, let me get one you can see right there, maybe. So, uh, yay! All right, all right, all right. Wrong wires, wrong plugs. Now, <clears throat> I was trying to be real specific with them. Had pictures of the motor. We made sure that we tried to get everything right. Uh, not only are the plug wires not the same, but even the spark plugs old boy got me. These are probably a quarter inch shorter than the resistor on the other one. It runs this way. I don't even know if I want to put fucking put these in because I'm sure they're not right as well. So that's what I get for going to AutoZone. Good thing is they'll give me my money back but bad news is did all this shit for nothing that's typical um we're gonna get up in here change these plugs because hopefully autozone's got me the right ones this time and uh that's about it the very least we're gonna get these old crusty ass plugs out of here yesterday i pb blasted them all uh i've had this one out so i'm pretty sure i can get it back out but we'll finish that we'll clean the air filter Maybe try and reset the idle and see if we can get this thing sounding halfway right. Number one, the black on the threads is just the PB blaster for me. But the plug looks pretty, pretty old. Let's pop in a new one, boys. You know, in these situations, these plugs are for lots of different applications. So, made sure the gap's the same. It's at 040 on both plugs. So we should be good. I if you're going to be mudding it, you can get the tip of that. It's not going to hurt nothing, guys. If you just get the tip, just the tip. We're going to play a little game called just the tip. Okay, get her up in there, boys. I wish she makes a good electrical shortage, a good connection. All right, this side's done. Here's the plugs from the other side. Not too horrible. All right, fellers, got the eight plugs changed. We'll have to see if the wires are any good now, but some of these are better than others. They're all shit, though. So I'm gonna clean up. We're gonna fire up and see. Well, that sounds a little better. We got rid of our exhaust leak, I mean our transmission fluid leak. Two new clamps there. Trim the hoses up. So that don't leak no more. Oh yeah. That sounds a lot better, fellas. I guess we'll just have to see. A little more power now. Man, I just figured it was a Chevy, you know. I just ain't got that much power, these old motors, but. a little high so we may adjust that um damn that made a big difference guys you guys probably thought i was kidding i am gonna grease the chains oh, if you didn't know you got us one right in there we got us about three under that so let me get all that noise cleared out then i'm gonna send it through the pond real quick i don't recommend this for dirt bikes but if you're doing like a tractor application or something where looks doesn't matter, you just want to keep the water out, like maybe the Argo or the six by six over there or this, this is like a dirt, it's like a rhino liner for your chain of grease. And we done, I done hit all the nips. I'll show you the difference on this. Look at that rusty chain. Go to work on there. It's messy, but I'm gonna get under here. Do a little spray on the bottom. As you can see, the chain's pretty rusty. Huh? Come on. Let's 
get up in there. Keep it on board on this thing. Also, you got your extra chain in here under the hood, two of them, and a little stereo that probably ain't worth the shit. But I'm gonna put this back on. This just covers, just goes on like this. That right there on both sides, and I put some pins in it. She's done. Sounds better than your dirt, your, your, your Gasamax. It sounds better than your Gasamax. Where's your helmet? Don't play me. Not too bad, right? For the cast iron headers, that's not bad. For some cast iron headers. Uh, there might be, it might have been in a can or something on an accident. It is, dude. Hey, come right in it. Thought we did the plugs two days ago, three days ago. Now we got some wires. And, uh, I don't know, we're gonna try and, we're gonna try and seal her up. As seen on TV, this will seal about anything. So, we're gonna try it, see what we can get done. Guess what? Just cause it's off road don't mean it ain't a shift box. Hey David, you're a hot rod guy. Where else we put in that radiator? That's about the best spot to put it. Where else could you put it? it in, the back, in the bed. The, yeah, that may be better to angle it in the bed, but I think it'd be more likely to spew out that cap. I think it's gonna have to stand vertical, that radiator in particular, unless I got one with a different mouth on it. I don't see nothing wrong with that right there. They just keep saying it's it gonna- keeps your neck warm. Yeah, they just say that it's gonna keep over, and it probably will, but like I'm saying, where am I? Here, we'll put it right here. No, we'll put it behind the engine. Well, I was gonna try and get it as close to this cast iron header as I could. For sure. That way it wouldn't, no, maybe I'll just put it up here on the- Maybe I put it on the front bumper up here, like where it will go on a pick em up truck. That would work. Yeah, and then I definitely wouldn't know when I, and plus, if you're yeah. only driving five miles, you don't have to worry about it coming in your eyes or anything. Like, no. so all you guys that told me, this bitch does like 160. yeah, all you boys that told me to put that radiator somewhere else, I've, I've commented back, where? So I'm still waiting for that answer. Cause I honestly, there is no other fucking place. <laughs> there, there is no other place, dudes that I can think of where it won't just get maimed. You got some, hey, hold on now. Hey, hold on, champion. I mean, if we're gonna do it right, if jail. we're gonna do it right, we're gonna do it right. You're gonna give me his jail. It's already on the plug, but you wanna do boats. We're trying to make her waterproof. I forget, it's a mud truck. Yeah, this is a mud truck. I've, I've never had a mud truck. A daily. My shit goes fast and straight down. Yeah, this I'm goes, this one, when you hit the throttle, it goes all over the place, bud. <laughs> There's a reason I didn't take you for a ride down the road the we other day. Wheelie. We're, that's the plan today. Get this done and get her to Willie. Yeah. That's about that. Yeah. That's pretty much the whole truth. Cool, dudes. Oh, got all this. Got a new Skeddy for it. I'm in charge of the belt dressing. I got this here. <laughs> and I'm going to throw it all over this belt so it quits going a squiggity squiggity. Maybe it'll get this dent out of this bottom pulley. I guess we can pull this air filter to clean out the carburetor a little bit. I bet it's got some pookie in it. Oh, it's pulling the stud out instead. Perfect. There goes the whole whole ass head stud. We're gonna clean out this pizza pie. So we're gonna douche out the air filter. Maybe spray into this carb a little bit in case it's got something in it or here or there. We're changing plugs, finishing up the wires now. We got us some flex seal we're gonna slap on it. Just that belt a little bit. Fix these two leaks on this transmission cooler. What about all of them, man? We're gonna send it. I'm gonna huck it through the pond here in a little bit. Cleaning up the little contacts on these mothers. New wires. We did find a couple suspect coils once we pulled them. One was chewed in half. One had a really bad end on it. Wires. Wires, what I say, coils? Yeah, wires. We're gonna get on the shitbox ranger. And onto the shit box, big red. Fire up. Here we go, boys. Watch your fingers. That sounds way different. Doesn't it? That sounds way different, though. It, sound, it literally sounds like it must have been running on six cylinders or less. So we just need 
the PVC and a 190. It sounds like that, it is gonna pop oily. It'll pop oily. <laughs> it's gonna definitely pop oily, dude. It's, de it's definitely gonna get nasty. Jared's gonna be scared of it. Bro, you know, I mean, I'm already scared of it. <laughs> you rode in it with me the other day. You know once you, it's kinda sketchy. you like know. all you can do is hit the throttle pretty much and then let go right away. <laughs> you jam the throttle real hard, let go. We're gonna clean out this air filter. We're gonna take some flex seal to the bitch. I guess we're gonna try and flex seal the whole, we gotta get, Fill in these gaps. Yeah, <laughs> the water yeah. dunk, all, all of it. According to the commercial, we can do it. We can fill in this whole square down here, yep. and all these holes, and it'll flow. It'll flow. You can put it in the water; it'll flow. Okay, so anybody, uh, dad or. Anybody, y'all need a good mule. I just, uh, we put this two inch lift on it. You check the fences on it and stuff. Yeah. Just, just go check show your them, cattle. Show them all the room in the bed. Right. So I got a clean ass interior. Pretty sweet. Shifter. Got a tack. Push button start. Yeah. Got a side mount fuel tank. Nice mud tires. Lots of bedroom. Oh, dumb bed, yeah. Just Custom stacks. Yeah, dumb bed. Yeah, fire up. Alright, close up. Yes, we got an air cleaner for it. Before you guys go using anything on your engine that you've never used before, just spray it on them rocks first. You know what I mean? Dude, if you can get that'll it thick fix, enough, that'll fix your flats. Dude. If you can get it thick enough, then we could just cut the new treading because it's already had a couple times. New tires if you have this. And that shit may work. How long does it take to dry? I didn't read it. Spray it in your eyes and see. Six to nine days. Nuh uh. Really? No. It might. As you can see, boys, just on the, I want to just flex seal all that wire. No, wire got a little cut in it. It ain't gonna help much, but that's gonna be fun to get back off. Oh, yeah. And okay. they won't be able to tell why, bro, because it's clear and thin. Like, oh, some Elmer's on this. So we're hoping this helps with the, when I go send it in the pond. Waterproof. We've come to the conclusion we don't have to do it on the plugins, but what do you think? No, we're good. Plugins, bro. All right, we'll see. So, guys, if you're watching the mule video, be sure and hop up in there and check out this 5.0 Ford Ranger GT. And we're about to post this big red video in a couple days, a week or so. So, get up in there, boys. <laughs> How high did it come up? A foot and a half. I think this will now. Oh yeah, both both rods. Oh yeah, it pulled a wheelie. <laughs>
Here, you can go. You can go across that. When it hit second, it'll go. He let off right when it hit second. Beast. up dudes we appreciate you guys thanks for getting up in there watching this mule 350 oh it was a lot of fun so you can see it with the day i got it blake went with me i paid 2700 bucks for it um and today i'm selling it guys so i'm selling it for 4700 but you know what there's a lot of unique stuff on the channel but it's a lot more you know factory built honda yamaha suzuki that type of thing that 4750 bucks is going straight to something unique for the channel. I don't know what, but I'm going to go get I'm going to go get another contraption and we'll make some videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it ran when we got it, guys, you know that, but we improved it a little bit here and there. We gave it a tune up. It pops willies now, you know, which is crazy to think about, especially with these bald tires and stuff. It's a little muddy. Me and David went and sent it a little bit. It'll definitely clean up. Um, and uh, I don't know, guys. We had a lot of fun with it, so we got to get something else that's going to be just as fun. We're going to take the Argo to the lake probably this weekend. Um, I got to get this Ranger out to a lot, so this old 5.0 Ranger GT right here can rip some donuts and stuff. And to finish the big red, let's see here. I know why you mule guys are here. You're here for cool stuff. I know you're here for the Kawasaki mule. But this old big red, it uh, she's back in commission, fellas. That's what you know about that. Let's see. Make sure this fuel is on. So she's going through the pond probably tomorrow or the next day. That ought to be fun. I got you guys some new stuff coming up. Yeah, you yeah. stick around. Be sure and stick around. Well, you know, you take it. Now we're gonna upgrade it, boys. We're gonna go from a, a $2,700 find up to around a $5,000 find. See if, you know, who knows what we can get, but you buy the cool shit that's cheap, and as long as you buy it right, you can make you some money. <sighs> hey, even my wife didn't complain about this, boys. My wife did not complain about this one bit. And frankly, it is one of our best YouTube, it is our best YouTube video that we put up of the day we went and bought it and ripped it through the mud and everything else. So, by far, most views, most watch time, everything. It makes me think I need to take this little bit of money and go find something. If you guys see something that you think uh, would be a good candidate to be on the channel next, let me know, man, so I can go buy it, especially if it's priced right. Hopefully this old boy can see past the, you know, I told him she is muddy. You know what's cool is it does have a lot of power, but in the mud, I don't think you could really tear it up unless you chug it. Like, I don't think I that- I have tractor tires I can throw on in my wallet. <laughs> Not tons of good tires. Well, I really don't. Buddy's got a Jeep. 
he, uh, he runs off. Keep going all the way up. You heard, so you watched the video on YouTube? I watched your video. You see everybody bitching about the radiator, right? Why would they bitch about it? Well, uh, I, and I agree if it happened, if it ever got hot or a line broke, you're going to take a hot bath. But I literally told him, okay, so I got the comment so many times that I just asked him, if one of you guys could tell me a better place to fucking put it, I'd love to hear it. So, I mean, you can't put it on the bumper. You'll know when it gets warm because you'll start hearing it hissing. Yeah. The cap. So once the cap starts going. You got you a sweet thermostat that works too. I've never seen yeah. it get over 210. Yeah, that's where it should be. It's mm -hmm. be. So it'll run there and then it'll it'll drop down to 180 and then bounce back to 210. There it is, boys. 4750 bucks. We'll see what we can find. That's my this this is going straight back into the channel. I don't know what I'm gonna find. I'll find something, but hopefully it'll get you guys some good content. And I hope you appreciate it, boys. Lots more to come, dudes.